Bangladesh lies beneath the world's largest mountain range, the Himalayas, which brings billions of litres of water. This country has more than 700 rivers, so a huge part of the land is taken by water. It's also the largest delta in the world. Not only that, this is one of the most densely populated countries in the world, home to more than 163 million people. Alarming, right? Bangladesh's exposure, sensitivity and capacity to adapt to the negative effects of climate change put Bangladesh at the bottom. 157 of 182 in the ND Gain Vulnerability Index. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, by 2050, the Bay of Bengal is going to submerge one-tenth of Bangladesh's land. This means 10 to 30 million people living in these areas will become homeless. If this happens, the cost to tackle climate change will get really expensive, amounting to 2% of the GDP by 2050 and 9% by 2100, as predicted by Asian Development Bank. But there's also good news. To tackle climate change, government has developed different policy frameworks, strategies and plans, such as Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100, Perspective Plan, Majib Climate Prosperity Plan, Aid Five-Year Plan, Government of Bangladesh is implementing several projects following these policy frameworks, strategies and plans. GIZ is assisting Bangladesh government to implement a project, Adaptation to Climate Change into the National and Local Development Planning 2. That's the ACC NLDP2 project. What is this project about? This project supports the Bangladesh Planning Commission by making sure climate action and resilience is incorporated into public investment projects and national development planning right from the beginning. The Bangladesh Planning Commission is responsible for determining the objectives, goals and strategies of the country's short and medium term plans. It prepares policies and strategies to achieve these planned goals and targets. It prepared the perspective plan, five-year plans and the annual development program. It evaluates public investment projects. Aside from climate change, this project is also contributing to the Sustainable Development Goals 9, 10, 11, 13 and 15. This project will have three results. Firstly, it will make climate risk information available to all officials for use during planning and appraisal processes. The information will be carefully classified and organized, just like a library, so the officials can easily make evidence-based decisions that are concerned with climate adaptation in national plans and investment projects. Secondly, the project will improve examination of climate risks in the context of project appraisals. How? By mainstreaming climate-proofing procedures called Climate Check Method CCM, and Planning Information System PLIS, at the key points of the project appraisal process. This will help officials evaluate project proposals in the climate change context. Thirdly, the project will strengthen the capacity of the Planning Commission with training and resources, including an e-learning platform. This will help officials understand and effectively use digital applications and CCM during planning and appraisal processes in the context of climate change. Building the capacity of officials with training will ensure the project's outputs to sustain even after its completion. Climate change adaptation is a burning need at this moment. When we unite and take action, we can strengthen the climate resilience of extremely vulnerable population groups living in the urban areas. Together we will build climate-resilient urban areas for all.